Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we're going to be doing another gun review, but not on one that actually uses gunpowder. This is a pellet gun, which is a break open one. Uh, it is set in the 22 caliber, and it is quote unquote suppress, is what they say. It is slightly quieter than a normal one, so I suppose it is suppressed in, in a way. That's why this is a little bit wider up here. This is a Crossman Shockwave with the nitro piston in it. I do really enjoy shooting it. You can see the quote unquote suppressor at the end. And then right down here, we do have a scope on it, which I do enjoy. It's decent, you know, it's nothing crazy. It's on a pellet gun, so it's not gonna be crazy good because you're not shooting that far anyways. It does have some iron sights right here and at the end of the barrel. I don't use those since I use the scope, but they do work just fine if you do use them. What we're shooting today and probably everyone shoots is the Premier Crossman, the Piranhas, which are the pellets for the 22 caliber. This is what you'll find at your fleet farms and stuff like that. With the rifle, you know, it doesn't have kick. It's a pellet gun. It doesn't do anything like that. It does have a rubber butt sock, which is kind of nice. Made of plastic polymer for the rest. A lot of people, instead of getting this they do get a 17 caliber break action pellet gun which is just fine as well this is just another another option for you i believe this one when i bought it was right at 160 dollars or so and now they are right around 180 dollars so they are one of the more expensive ones but you do get a little bit more quality with it as it does shoot really well and i've had no issues and i've had it for about two years now this is how you break it open. You just smack the top of the barrel. It pops it open. That way it compresses that air for you to then shoot. The pellets, they are just what are called piranha pellets. So they do just have like that maybe. Yeah. What you do is you just go ahead and enter it at the end of the barrel. The end of the barrel that you're looking at. So don't put it in the other way that's probably not the best way I believe the pellets are right around 10 15 bucks for 400 of them so if you're a half decent shot you'll get quite a few squirrels is what I'm assuming you'll go after um, or like mice are another good thing or gophers as well it works pretty good for to get it done you just it's in a slack mode right now you go ahead and just slide it to the end it does have a safety which sits right in front of the trigger. You just have to push that forward for it to fire. Go ahead, flick it up whenever you're ready. Aim at whatever you're looking at and fire. And there goes the pellet. We'll shoot a few of them so you guys can kind of get used to it. It is a pretty hefty compression on it. So if you are really young, it might be a little difficult for you. It's not crazy. So, you know, grown-ups and stuff aren't gonna have an issue with it. On a side note, we do have apparel down below in the merch shop. So we do have these do logo sweatshirts where we have the OG logo in the top left. And we do have the new logo on the back. Be sure to check it out do have a lot of mugs and other apparel as well i wear a lot of it i really do like it that's why i condone it and yeah all of the money goes right back into the channel to make more content for you guys once again i will step in the frame for you we'll smack the end of the barrel you bend it down and then you put the pellet in the end I like to make sure it's flush. You slide it up. Leave a comment down below if you have done some pellet hunting in the past and if you have any primary pellet guns that you do like. I always like hearing more about them.
This is what the end of the barrel looks like right here. So you just put that pellet in nice and flush. You flick it down back shut. You hear the click so you know it's engaged. Overall, a really good pellet gun. So if you're looking to get your kid, your brother, anything like that, a pellet gun, that way they can shoot or just go planking in the backyard. It's a really good one for it. it has a really nice feel. That way they can kind of get used to getting used to guns. Pellet guns are a great way to get introduced to guns as well. So if this is kind of a staging point for you per se, this is one that can take small game like the squirrels and the gophers and the mice and such. And it helps you practice knowing where your scope is and making sure that it's all lined up. As always guys, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. We always try our best to answer them. And if you'd like us to see anything else for reviewing, be sure to leave it down below and we'll try to do it as well. As always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.